at all. It's all good. Okay, welcome to the Tea and Whiskey Podcast. I am your host, Sunshine, and we have an amazing show for you guys on this evening. It's the Hump Day Wednesday with Tea and Whiskey. I'm doing bars like you do. Hey. Oh, Lord, no <laughs> I've been doing the vlogs like Shady B. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna introduce herself. Unfortunately, our co-host S Doc cannot make it on today. However, we have an amazing guest host on today. Please tell everybody who you are. My name is Shiny B. If you're cool with your girl, food with your girl, you already know you are one of the best. Yes, cool with your girl, you food with your girl. I just love your slogan. I appreciate that. You know, it's everything because I'm cool with her and I fool with her. You know what I'm saying? Use a homie. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm cool with her. I fool her. She is amazing. She does Facebook Live in the morning. The news you can use. Hello. And I be using that news, hunty. All the time. All the time. So, we got a great show for y'all. We're giving you the uncensored, uncut, adult conversation you can sip to. Mm. Mm. Ah. Hallelujah. I am drinking a Kuna Matata. Okay, it's what a little, you whatever you want to name it. Okay, <laughs> I'm drinking Splash Waterfall. Come on, Splash hey. Waterfall. <laughs> yes, Kuna Matata is basically whatever your favorite wine is, and just add some vodka to it. That, that's the Kuna Matata. Okay, hey, Kuna Matata. Okay, what a wonderful drink. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So we got a great show for you. We're gonna do another bitch asses awards. Okay, we're gonna be talking about loyalty, what it means to you, and what it means to a few people that I, that, I mean, there's some crazy stuff out here in the world, and you know, um, how far will you go for loyalty? Right. Will loyalty take you places, or will it break you in places? You know, how far will you go? And of course, we have more hump day shenanigans. So, I do want to start with the breaking news, of course, the passing of our beautiful queen of soul, Aretha Franklin. Okay. Man, it hurts. It hurts. It's so fan me now. Fan me now. Fan me now. Unusual. Unusual. He go lie. He go lie. Ooh, that one took us through there. Baby, that one was a rough one. I had to call my mama. I said, Mama, you okay? Because <laughs> she yeah. loved Aretha, you know. So did mine. Oh. But you know, Sunshine, I'm going to just keep it 100 with you. Yes. I knew Aretha wasn't going to make it. A I long did time too. ago. Because she was starting to look real skinny. Yeah, she was looking real skin teeth. Yeah, you got to check the neckline. Because she's going to show them bosoms. She's going to have all the... Mm -hmm. It's not even a cleavage. It was an overreach. She yeah. made sure that was showing. So that stopped showing. I knew something was up. I knew when I saw the neck. When she was singing. Yeah, like, you Yo. saw the, the veins and the vocal cords was coming through. She was looking real thin. She real took thin. that fur coat off this time. I was like, oh no. Oh, oh what's going on? Y'all tell them to say that. Like, did you thing. go vegan? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew a little long time ago there was someone going left field with Reefa with the F. Or Reefa. <laughs> Reefa with the F. <laughs> so, you know, rest in peace to her. Now, I got some tea on that. Please. So, well, before I do that, let me go ahead and give all her props. She was an amazing woman, right. gave us great music. She's a legend, and her funeral will be August the 27th in Detroit. Now, she's going to have some amazing vocal cords singing for her at her funeral. Ooh, please tell me Jennifer Hudson. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! And the okay. other Jennifer, Jennifer Holiday. Okay, that's that's a good look. Yes, and um, Stevie Wonder. Please tell me, is he bringing the keyboard? I hope so. I hope he bring the the, uh, the bees. I hope he bring the rest of his dreads. No, not not the... Because <laughs> that's what's missing. He hit us in one of these, but he <laughs> going up there at the time. So we need to show him. He need a little cup, a frontal. He need he, a... Uh, uh, what a lace call front? It? Yeah. He need a uh, closure up he here. He need a lace middle. Lace the, middle? The middle <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. It's a bald spot in the sky. I'm just uh, saying. For just your saying. head. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> and also, the London Adams is going to be there, okay, too. Okay, but why didn't call Fantasia? You know what, Fantasia probably said no because mm -hmm. then, why would she say no? Because you know Fantasia took, you know she she called Aretha Franklin mama. Mm -hmm. So you know when Fantasia first came on the scene, Aretha took her under her wing. Of course, that's why you brought her up because you know they had a great relationship. Right. But I did, I do follow Fantasia on um, Instagram, mm -hmm. and um, she did say this one has hit me kind of hard. She did 
So I don't even she's think she's grieving still. She's, she's grieving. not gonna be able to sing right. No, okay. no, okay. no, no, no. I don't. I don't think she'll be able to handle it. She'll probably maybe sitting in black like she's a widow and something, and she probably pass out. Cause no. her lips already be you don't want me. They already be shaking. So I know she's gonna be able to sing right. She's gonna be able to bring. The no, she, she won't be able to do that. She okay. will be able. She probably would cry throughout the whole entire. Right. Funeral. We, no, we don't want to see Tasha like that. Yeah, cause I mean, I wouldn't want to sing like in my mom's funeral. I, I just wouldn't want to. Girl, what you said? I would. I'd have to just sit there and be cool about. It. Right, but um, there is some bitch assness going on mm. within the situation. There is the T is she did not have a will, girl. A lot of black folks don't have a will. They don't like to talk about it. It's a sensitive thing. But still, like you need to. I even tell like you know, can folks write something down on a piece of paper and let everybody know where it is. Right. That's even considered a will. It's important to have your assets and your stuff in order. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you talk about insurance policy. I did, and it's very, <laughs> it, it, especially if you have more than one child. It's very, mm -hmm. very, very important to have at least some organizational where you want things to be designated. Yeah, but it seems like her family isn't like like a Prince family right now. They're not rushing to get what's the most expensive. So no. I don't right now because everything is on hold right now because there's no will. Right now, her four sons have uh, filed a document. Mm -hmm. Um. They're trying to say that they are interest interested parties. Right. So they're trying to file a document, like a legal document saying that we are who we say we are. However, the bitch asking this nomination I want to give to is Aretha Franklin's niece. Okay. I don't have her name, but she is asking the court to appoint her as a personal representative of her estate. Did Aretha with the F say that before she passed away? Uh, there's no will. Well, did Aretha verbally say that's who she wanted to elect? There's no will. I don't mm. care what you say verbally. There's no will. Oh, so Lord. according to the state of Michigan, where Aretha Franklin resided and where she passed, it says that um, states that have any unmarried persons without a will, mm -hmm. assets are divided equally among any children. Okay. So, that's good. So since that's a state law, why are you going in and asking to be the... Representative. Representative. It's some interest somewhere else. It's some property we don't know about. It's some bitch ass that's going on. I tell you, you don't know who your family members are until somebody dies. Mm. They all come out like roaches when you turn the lights on. Ooh, mm. the lights come on. They scatter, scatter. scatter. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Raid my ass. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of crazy. It is. It's really sad. And it's like, oh, this whole Prince thing all over again. And I'm just like, oh. You know they say Aretha never, she got her money in advance. That's she never really wanted the. That's right. Mm -hmm. You're right because she would ask people for twenty five thousand up front. Right. She got her money and then front. whatever uh, the rest of the amount would be like in a check. That was part right. of the And yes, and that's kind of cool because she probably set that up in each one of those accounts for her children. That's a possibility. Now she paid a lot of people under the table because she had some IRS issues because of. Oh, Rita was doing the wrong Asley. Yeah, because hey, it's contagious. She just wanted to pay people. She took that twenty five thousand. She would get up front and she would. Have it out to her employees. Well, I would rather get paid under the table anyway. Well, of course. If Uncle Sam's looking, no, I don't. <laughs> Who else do we have here with us? What's up, Vaughn? That damn Vaughn. I love his, uh, that damn Vaughn. That damn Vaughn. Vaughn. Cause you know what? Every time he posts something, he say that damn Vaughn. Hmm. Shout out to you, sir. Shout out to my hubby. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, Pam Govon. Thank you for joining Pretty us. Good yes, girl, I got these specs. Okay, that explains it. These specs. <laughs> So, do you have any uh, bitch ass nominees you like to mm. nominate? Listen, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be as understanding as I could be. Yes. You know the VMA just came on yesterday before yesterday. It did. You know, I didn't get to watch it. I need you ain't missing seat. nothing. You ain't missing nothing. Uh -huh. It wasn't really. It was more talking than it was performance. Really? Yes, but I'm really not one of those people that tune into those type of things too much. I just like to see the outfits people had on. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Well, I know that Aretha passed away at yes. such short notice. She and did. they wanted to pay homage to her. Absolutely. I'm just not feeling that they chose Madonna. First of all, I didn't know it was Madonna. I thought it was one of the Olsen twins coming up to, you know, talk about Full House or something. Yeah. And then I really thought when it was Olsen <laughs> twins. <laughs> I thought it was one of the Olsen twins, but oh. one of them was at the house. You know, they look old in the face. No, they've been switching them out. You think it's a right. I thought it was still like you a whole house. Okay. Right. <laughs> So I was like, well, who is that? And I was like, no, it can't be them because they actually, this person actually looked put together. She yes. Really high. Yes. And I was like, well, who was this Pirates of the Caribbean? I thought it was, you know, the dude. A Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I was trying to give you the hope of who this could be. So I didn't know it was Madonna until the next morning. Let's just keep it 100. Oh, my God. But I was like, who was this person talking for 20 minutes 
about nothing. But comes to find out, <laughs> she was paying homage, a tribute to Aretha, but it was all about Madonna. I heard about that. We were sitting there like, well, get to the punchline. Get to the punchline. I heard about that. I did hear, I didn't see it, but somebody told, shout out to Bunny Clay. She told me, she said that M Madonna was basically saying that she had an audition, mm -hmm. and then um, they asked her, what could she say? She had no music, no nothing. She wasn't prepared. She said she could sing Natural Woman. Madonna could sing Natural Woman? That's what she said. M Madonna. Hashtag like a virgin. No ma'am. Like a like well, a what's so the voice? She's what? whispering on the mic. Ain't well, nobody gonna know. She never sung the song and she ended up talking. Yeah. She talked for seven maybe seven to eight minutes about something about being inspired by Aretha to go get a contract with a French producer. <laughs> I'm like, girl, where's the story going on? <laughs> now that was some crackhead shit. Forget some bitch ass ass. It was <laughs> crackhead. That was when you hit the mic and, and So we're gonna nominate Madonna for a bitch ass. She was high as, high as a cop. <laughs> That was some high I heard she had a grill too. I couldn't tell because I was still trying to figure out if it was an Olsen twin or Pirates of the Caribbean. So I, didn't, I couldn't focus on what she was saying. I was trying to figure out, is this Johnny Depp or what? I love Madonna, but sometimes she just don't... Damn it, Gina. It don't quite configure all the way. You know? She's getting older and she's getting more crazier and... That, that's not what we needed right there. So they could have picked anybody. They could have had a Facebook live stream of people saying things about Aretha before they brought Madonna. Uh, you know what? You're absolutely right. I couldn't agree with you more. Come on, MTV. They had sold up all the channels. They did. So it wasn't like you could watch anything else. Right. They really so did. So they could have said, look, we're just going to do a hologram of Aretha Franklin throwing shade to Patty walking in the inauguration. <laughs> we could have said anything. Let's show these videos of Aretha shade. And uh, I would have been like, Aretha Ooh. was like the shade queen. Yeah, I remember yeah. they asked her, what do you think about Taylor Swift? Uh, beautiful, beautiful gowns. gowns. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. What about Nicki Minaj? Let's skip. What about <laughs> Alicia Keys? She's a great uh, musician. Uh, she's a great pianist. Shane <laughs> <laughs> said nothing about nothing that else. voice. Nothing. <laughs> and it's, and she's, it's how she said it. She's, mm, okay. Nothing about that voice. Right. I like that. But Aries will like that. Aries are. So Humphrey. she was an Aries. Well, you know what? Yeah, yeah. She was born March 25th. So okay. She's Aries. And they have that persona that they're not going to sugarcoat anything. It's either they're going to like it or not. And they're going to tell you the truth. It's going to hurt, but they're not going to lie. I, 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 I love her for that. That mm -hmm. Shady Queen, she was a real diva. Yeah, she was. I hope they don't go away. They gonna have a real good funeral. Oh man, I'm gonna have to fly to Detroit. I'm like, scared. I need to, um, Motown, I need to get me a ticket to that funeral. Can they, are they selling tickets? <laughs> Cornbread, if it has some hog hogs, they're going to be throwing that at a reaper funeral. She's going to come out the cat. Baby, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, Who's that? Are they selling oh, they sell tickets? You got to check that some of them. That'll be a sold out show. But right. they're not they're trying to pay homage. You know what? I tried to do a bereavement day. When Aretha left, I tried to take off because she family. And she is family. Job said no. Job said no. <laughs> is your maiden name Franklin or something? Somewhere. It's up in there somewhere. <laughs> My I got an in in my maiden name, no. like Johnson, so yeah, okay. We in there, okay. We in there. I got to get them tickets. Mm. Okay, so the next nominee for the Bitch Asses Award, I want to just break it down real quick for uh, Nicki Minaj, Ooh. baby girl. <laughs> Let me sit to that. <laughs> you know, I, and I hope I don't get attacked by the Nicki Minaj clan or whatever. Barbs. Whatever, the Barbie, Barbie team gang. What's going on, Von Lisa? Thank you for joining us. Um, but... She's getting a bitch asses award because you know she has a new radio show. It's called Queen Radio. Right. Is it out today or is it out now? It was like, yeah, it's out. Okay. She she did her first air last week. Right. And there was a little part where she was saying that I didn't know that we had a beef, but you know, since you know people don't know if we got a beef, yeah, we got a beef. Talking about Cardi B. How do you have beef with somebody based upon hearsay, she say, he say, she say, and blogs? Mm. To me, that is very, very immature. You say what? Who say who? What, what Cardi B say? Oh my gosh, she said Cardi B. Listen, that's not a reliable source. That's not a reliable source. Thank you. I couldn't even remember. You what? She gonna do what to who? That's not a reliable source. Bars, hey, hey, bars. Yes. And this be on the VMA as Nicki Minaj said. I want to thank you for all of my fans. It's, it's genuine. It's genuine love. Wow. And you can, and only God can give it. You can't buy that bitch. <laughs> she did. 
she she's been, been tripping lately, y'all. Nikki been tripping. Shout out to Trina that blew up, but she been tripping. <laughs> what? I'm mean, that what? <laughs> she been tripping though. She been tripping, mad tripping. She got that. But they both from New York, so they know the cockiness that comes with that. So that, that's a whole nother level level of arrogance. Mm-mm. Okay, you know what? What's shout out to Mr. High? He said that room is bedazzled out. You better know it. Yeah. You better know it, Mr. High. <laughs> But yeah, Nicki Minaj is nominated for a Bitch Asses Award. Not only that, right. she created a beef between her and, and um, Cardi B, but she also blames Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott for robbing her of her number one album spot. Right. I did see that. She's basically saying about the merchandise. They're using merchandise to boost sales for album sales. Listen, it's a competition, ma'am. It is what it is. You have to do with your pub. Your PR need to be pubbing you up, always possible. You can't blame another artist for their artistry as a reason why you're not. I mean, you should blame yourself. She got some good, solid projects on that CD. And if she just shut her mouth for five seconds and let the fans listen to it, let the fans do all that. It'll take off. But she's so being a brat right now. Honestly, the only thing worse than a sore loser is a sore winner. Hey. Cause she's still winning. She's you winning, number right. two right. on the. Uh, you're, but she was number one overall in the U. S. in America. So like I'm trying to figure out like, why are you mad about billboards? That's just one place. It's just one. Oh Lord, she just oh girl. She is it me or is she starting to look puffy in the face? Yeah, she's, I, I, puffy. she's puffy from all that frowning she's been doing. She may have a frown that puffy. Syndrome. Yeah, that little tantrum face she's been making lately. Man, she is acting like a pure brat right now. Somebody said she had some some hair on her head, look like she was from Keys to Polk. And Interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who does her lace fronts because she had the audacity to say that her and Cardi B share the same stylist. I don't see how. Um, did you see a video that guy said? Um, you remember that track where she mentioned? Um, your your lace fronts are bummy. You can't put a crown on that bum ass lace front. Yeah, she's talking. The she's throwing so much. She's throwing so much, she shade. Was much shade. But somebody did a video. And they said your lace front is bummy. So yeah, <laughs> if people are throwing shade, man. The internet is where you can get the tea and you get the laugh. All the shade, all the tea. It is like all over the internet. It's crazy. It's, it's, you got to bring your A game. Right so we gonna jump off the bitch asses nominees. We got some old nominees. You have some nominees, right? I did. Is there anything you wanted to bring as far as Shawnee's World? I want everybody to get a little piece of Shawnee's World what they can get when they tune in in the morning team. You what know, you got? I, I always like to tell people. You yes. Know, tell do us. the damn job you said you was going to do. Hallelujah. Let me look at your camera. Do the damn <laughs> job you said you was going to do. Not a bit more. And people are like, what does that mean, Shawnee B? People listen. When you go to the job, you fill out the application, you mm-hmm. submit your resume, mm-hmm. you interview, preach. You're telling them what you you're capable of doing, and if you're horrible, they'll say, "Good, you start." Yes. When you get to that desk, yes, preach. You might the first few ninety days give them a little extra. You uh-huh. might stay a little ten minutes late. Yeah. You know, do a little extra projects. Put your best foot forward. But after a while, don't do it no more because <laughs> they don't they don't remember. <laughs> they I know. wasn't ready for that. Don't do it no more because they're using you. They yeah. they use you. They'll say, yeah. Oh my God, you you chipper. You're gonna get this. Here you go, sunshine. You get the award today for highest call volume, and you get hey, guess what? A parking spot because yeah. you're on top of it. And yeah. then next Friday, you might have an up and down week because of the storms that's going around. And they're going to be like, give me this damn trophy. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you doing for us right now? Absolutely nothing. So I try to tell people just that. The same energy you put into a job. And it's not your job. It's not your business. Come on. Go in, clock in. Yes. Clock out. Stop yes. doing overtime. Stop depriving your family. Just go home. Put that same energy into yourself, your business, your skill sets, and your hobbies. Because these jobs, they know today that they're going to fire you in four months when it's skeletal season, when it's December, easily January. Easily replaced. You could be easily replaced. No stats. Being on top of the scorecard means nothing. Nothing. That's a today for today accolade. They, they, know, who, they know who to drive the most. you giving them bonuses. They don't want to give you no raise. you mm. still trying to write some down on your eye. Preach. So that's what Shawnee B do. She trying to tell you guys, believe in yourself. Fuck. And don't let your fears hold you back. Stop clocking and give these jobs all your time. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. just don't get emotionally invested. I know mm-hmm. I, I've had a problem with that because I, I put everything into what I do. Right. From, you know, physically to mentally to emotionally. It's draining. And I had to learn, stop doing that. Everybody don't deserve all of you. Not all. All of you because no. even your 2% is amazing. Okay? Just go in and if doing what you do gets the job done and you still get promotion, 
That's it. Just Take do what Moshe's doing, what yes. you said you're going to do, but don't be going overboard because they don't remember it tomorrow. Don't be bringing up out the donuts because they don't want you to do it tomorrow. Don't. Don't. Just do what you need to do and clock out. Please. That's all I got for you. I love it. It's tough. I'm here for it. Good. I love Good. it. I think it's amazing. Absolutely, because they at the end of the day they don't care. They don't. You're getting them bonuses, and they still negotiate on your salary. They still telling you why you can't get an. Oh, they money. don't. They don't find a way to yeah. not give you right. what you deserve. So go home, do the damn job you said you're gonna do, and that's it. You go home. That's all you got. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm gonna have to turn that down. Yeah, it came back in. I was like, okay, I got a tune in. Right Hallelujah! Now. Yes, Mr. Greer said, preach. Yes. I mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. one person that was always trying to go over and beyond because I was like, yo, I want to get to the top. But I ain't trying to get to the top no more because my name ain't on the building. Come on. No, ma'am. I could die tomorrow. You know what they're going to do? Replace. Excuse me, we're hiring. Yes. They're going to say switch. Hello. <laughs> they're going to dust my desk off. They nope. sure are. Not me. Not Box. I. All of that. They, Hello. You know what's going to really happen is your co-workers going to be stealing stuff off your desk. Right. Well, let me get them pins. And I'm going to haunt the hell out of it too. I'm going to come Ooh, back. Give me my no big pin. Give me my big pin. Give me my pin. The good one. The one that right. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any more bitch assness nominations? Um, these food recalls. Have you been paying attention? Oh my gosh. Listen, y'all, they talk about um, organic, they talk about eating in, you know, salads, they talk about yeah. just eating healthy and yeah. drinking water, but they're not telling you the recalls. Now they got recalls on baby food. What? Yes, they have found high levels of lead in baby food. The same stuff that WIC offices are giving you in bulk, they, they recalling it. They have a recall on Ritz crackers, they have a recall on goldfish, they have a recall on salad. Why your stomach hurting at night? Because you got E. coli poisoning your stomach lining. Then they recall some water. Some, it's some, have you been tasting your water? Smell your water. What? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I ain't going to say the city we in, but this city. Oh, yeah. I don't drink the water at the faucet. No, don't drink your water at the faucet. No, God. High levels of. Yeah, um, I smell it. I, it's, it's something. It's, is it chlorine? It's not. It's uh, lead. 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 Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby. All this stuff is killing us. And then in the cereals. The granola bars, oh, the no. oatmeal, they all oh, have no. levels of cancer forming cells. Oh Lord, I love oatmeal. You better leave oatmeal alone. Damn it. Because it has a little bit of cancer products in it. He said, no, not the Ritz. Ritz, some of the Ritz. <laughs> like when you go into oh. the extraordinary flavors, yes, some of them have the yeah, weed I didn't killer. Hear about that. Yes, it's the weed killer roundup. It's a part of chemicals that they use for that. They're putting it in the cereal, the granola oh, bars, all the Lord. So just pray over your food. Hit them Please. with it. Yes, hit them one time, two God times. God is great. God is good. Thank you for the food I'm in. Yes. What's up, Kid Tiger? I've so, been paying attention. They're trying to kill us. So recall on the baby food, B baby food, waters, Ritz, granola bar, oatmeal. Waters, Ritz. Yeah. Granola, gr I love granola. But especially the um the one the Nutrigrain with the strawberry. Ooh. Recall. It's hitting off. It's hitting up your organs and killing you. Don't hit that up. Oh my God, y'all stop eating shelf. this stuff. So you said don't drink the the tap water. No, boil your water. Boil your water. water. No Ritz, no granola bars, no oatmeal, and what else you say? The baby food is the beach. Oh, brand. the baby food, the mm -hmm. beach brand. Yeah, it's like beach, beach wood. I think beach. You know, oh, you got man. kids. Just boil, boil your food and just puree it for them. Just right. Make, just make organic food. And just to let you know, it's gonna be the rice and turkey, and it's gonna be the sweet potatoes. Girl, the, the, baby, the baby's love the baby's gonna be well, the baby's gonna be crying and their head gonna be heavy because it's causing brain That's issues. That's probably what's wrong with some of us today. Right, you be crying in a different tone. You sound like a phone a phone call that tone. It's because you've been eating some turkey and rice. Is what I'm trying to tell you. So mm. Fix your own food. I'm trying to keep it real with y'all. Thank you for that. These wonderful. are no jokes. These are serious. This is real talk. Mm -hmm. So that's bitch asses. It's the, the food that they serving us is killing I, us. I do want to say the bitch asses, we do have little jokes about and we are making a mockery of, but this is some real serious real. stuff. Sometimes you have to give people medicine with sugar. And so the comedy is the sugar. But y'all, this is some these are some real issues. It's very mm -hmm. important. So be mindful of these things. Big mama, your arm. You remember on soul food? <laughs> <laughs> We love you. That's probably what Aretha did. She got some
some money in the TV. Oh, I'm a stomach hurt. That's my favorite line. When something happened to me, where my big mama your arm? That's my shit. <laughs> Baby, baby, baby. she lit. didn't even know her stuff was trouble. No, she didn't know it was burning. Mm, her sugars, her sugars. Oh my god, Lord have mercy, that was funny to me. I'm done with you. You had the <laughs> voice, that. you had the real voice. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. I play with you today. I'm and I cut off my leg. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dang, what did I'm you say, good. kid? He said uh, they're trying to take. Baby D. Oh, kid, yes, I'm Baby D in the hood. Kid, no, I be sampling food across the world for y'all. Oh, y'all so do y'all think that is Baby D? You can taste all the snacks? I do, and I should stop. But yes, I be tasting snacks. If I see some that I never seen before, I will go buy it, try it, and do a review on it real quick. <laughs> Baby D in the hood. Yeah, you still owe me one of them uh, sodas. Nah, it was some wrap snacks. The wrap oh, chips. Oh, at the house. The oh, wrap damn. chips. I got you. I got you. Nah, you good. I'm just kidding, honey. I what are you good about? They are right. certain flavors. Okay, so. Uh, next item up for business we're gonna talk about is loyalty. Okay, loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Yeah, loyal, loyal. So, loyalty is something that people tend to take hold of and they hold on tight, they hold on dearly, and I recommend it. I really do. Now, I've been reading the uh, Amorosa. Um, her book is called Unhinged. Okay. She is given all the tea, all the dirt on the Trump administration. Uh -huh. She's she's starting out from. When she first started being on The Apprentice, all the way up until she got to the White House for Trump. She had been faithful and wow. loyal to him for over 15 years before she was on this administration. No matter what it was, as long as she did what Trump asked her to do, whatever she whatever she asked for, she got. So there's mm -hmm. and, and Trump was she saying Trump was, was very, very loyal. If he if you were loyal to him, he would be loyal to you financially. Interesting. So um, I know some people are not probably boycotting the book, and I don't blame them. But it's I, I downloaded it on Audible through uh, Amazon, and it's an amazing listen. I'm not gonna say read because I ain't reading. I'm listening because right. she's reading it as well, which gives a, an amazing like oomph to it because she's putting her tongue and all that stuff into okay, it. Okay, okay. So I don't really know a lot about politics. I don't know about you, Shawnee B. Nah, I just vote when I'm supposed to vote. Yeah, you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Yes, make sure y'all vote November too. Vote. Please, but she's basically given some amazing like stuff. But my thing is with loyalty, how far will you let loyalty take you? Will it take you places or will it break you in places? Mm -hmm. And so, my concern is since you've written this book, I mean, are you basically would we have gotten this book if you hadn't been fired? You know, probably not. Hmm. She probably was still kept her mouth closed because financially, uh huh, she was getting them ducats. Uh huh. Right. But yes. Now, yes, indeed. She in the unemployment line. Yeah. So now she got to you know do this, and so she openly admits to being loyal to Trump as the reason why she was on his team. Right. You know, um, she openly admits his racism and turns a blind eye due to loyalty. Okay. You know, that loyalty is tough. Huh. It's tough because she sold out. We gave her to his community a long time ago. <laughs> so it's kind of tough. Like, do we feel sorry for her or not? Nah? Like, it's one of those situations. But this is the thing. She was saying that she was labeled as a diversity director mm -hmm. during the campaign and all that stuff. And when she tried, she was also in charge of, you know, the reaching out to the African American community. Mm. I ain't heard from her yet. Black Lives would not take any of her calls. <laughs> she reached out to Al Sharpton. He was like, no. So, wow. and then on top of that, there was no funding given to her to do any of those things. That's what she said. So what was she That was funding for other stuff as far as the campaign. Uh -huh. But basically what she was doing was cleaning up all the mess. Like all the different drama, like him saying all these, you know, uh, racial things in regards to the right. wall. And she let that slide because she said, well, she also worked for Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton's campaign. Interesting. She's just getting paid. She yeah. So she's been in the White House. It's not this is this not her first time being in the White House. And she's mm -hmm. known for digging up dirt and finding out kind of media stuff. I see. Okay. Yeah. She's the real shade room. She is the real shade room. She is like the Olivia Pope for the other people. I not see. for the people. No, she ain't for the people. She's not for the people. So mm -hmm. it's just really crazy. So I recommend y'all go and download this book or just go read it because 
I mean, I'm not Team Omarosa, but I will have to say she's very smart. Now, she still is nominated for a Bitch Asses Award. <laughs> she still is nominated for a Bitch Asses Award because of the Bitch Ass moves. She's been, yes, yeah, the three inch Bitch Asses Award. Because it's bitch ass at the end of the day. Now you get fired, and now you want to put this tell all tell book all out. Book. That's what I and we wouldn't me. have gotten this shit if you hadn't have felt like you were being, you know, discredited or whatever. But I don't know. What do you think about that? You have to fake it till you make it. And when you make it, I guess you're still going to fake it. Because that's what she's been doing. Basically. I don't know her, know her. So, I mean, she ain't helping Sean be entertainment no way. No, she ain't helping tea and whiskey. No, nah, so I'm like, whatever, since I hope you saved your money up. I hope she did too. Maybe hopefully you got a good deal with this book because you've given us all tea. Right. And that's probably why she might do well right now because a lot of people want to see what she's going to say. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't make her sign a disclosure. It doesn't feel right because, you know. Yeah, because a part of me does feel like, is she also doing this for the team also? Is it just a back and forth battle? Because she did say in her book that Trump actually used racial things and he said racial things to draw attention <clears throat> and he put people on his um his um presidential payroll i'm gonna say because i don't know all the technical terms right and right. it wasn't about their character it was about them being loyal to him because people paid to be a part of his campaign they donated right. and all this stuff so he brought people on with no no experience he didn't even have experience he didn't have experience and so she basically was like Olivia Pope of it all. She would go clean up and do this and do that. She never really could do the role she was had to do, which was be the direct, the uh, diversity director, and reach out to minority groups to figure out so that she can reach out to them as far as what the Trump campaign is going to do for them. Because I think it was strategic, strategically done so that she could not do that. So there was no funding for any type of rallies or, or meetings or anything she had to come out of her own pocket they had to be done she's not stupid i'm sure she swindled some money because she just got married too she had a lavish she did and it was how she was on yes to the dress and so she got a free dress and veil so she got a lot of perks i think she knew what she was doing i think she knew what she was doing and it's about to be some secrets coming out with this this whole election so she, it's probably best she got removed now yeah because she wouldn't do she wouldn't do good in jail she wouldn't do good in jail her reasoning said that the reason she was fired was because they said she <laughs> unauthorized she used government vehicle mm -hmm. it was unauthorized but she said she used the vehicle to go to an actual government event which was right. some kind of baseball something girl and why so, she didn't drive in her own car well that's y'all's tax money y'all your tax money goes towards them going to events Right. And, and vehicles and <laughs> buying fifteen thousand dollar ostrich coats and Hello. paying for his side bitches and, and playboy bunnies. That's where our tax money is going. I'm just letting y'all know. Right. She's giving you all the tea. Y'all want all the tea? Download that unhinged by Omarosa. Damn. She's giving it to you. Now, what do you choose to do with it is your business. But I had to let you know. Everybody writing a book. Everybody writing a book. I here. seen somebody had a book out the other day. They was promoting it, and then when I got it in my hand, it had fifteen pages. I said, well, damn. If I can make me happy. Is it a nursery rhyme? <laughs> but it had some facts and the verse was this big. <laughs> Times New Roman 77. I yes. said, 15 pages. Come on, 15 pages. Well, I heard the movie Precious was a book. And I think the book was, was, not, was not long at all. Well, well, probably not. <laughs> Precious ate chicken the whole damn movie. What can she buy and read in a book? That was Shay. <laughs> Each one? Teach one. <laughs> Precious was too busy stealing buckets of chicken and running Sorry. Precious is cool. But it was a very short book, so I don't know. That's how they made it that long movie, because the book was short. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here to tell you what I <laughs> I'm going to give Omarosa not only a trophy, but a medal for the yeah, bitch ass is exactly. award for Come the unhinged book. Come down and get it. I talked about this last week, but baby, you still on the docket, honey. You still getting the award. Oh, we, baby. So, the nominees we had was Nicki Minaj, okay. Aretha Franklin's niece. Uh -huh. Now, there's one more. Ooh, give it to him. Al Sharpton. Oh, baby, that hair is laid. That hair is burnt. And it, <laughs> it don't move. They may put a super on that joint and left it. That <laughs> hair is done. It's done. It's over. That hair All that done. time you had that that hair, it ain't grown past your neck. But it's never grown past the neck. It be so tough. It's like he used the rollers with the foam on it. <laughs> with the paper still attached. <laughs> My ugly as hell. This is Isosheen. That thing is a mess. 
Yes. No phone rollers. Yes. yes. Phone rollers. You can sleep in those. You won't get no crooked. I those. want you to talk about Reverend Al Sharpton, Shana B, because you said <laughs> you talked about it on your show before. So, why do you think he deserves the bitch assness <laughs> award on First tonight? Read it, Rainbow. He doesn't know how Reading to spell. Rainbow. <laughs> Another person gets on national TV and don't know how to spell. Now, I get it. Sometimes you mix up the E's and I's because they run together. The I before E, X out the C. I know. I get it, too. But he was talking, and I don't even know the platform he was on. I don't know what syndication it was on. But yeah. he was trying to deliver a speech. And he was like, in the words of my friend. Yes. R E S P I C T. R E S. P-I-C-T. P-I-C-T. First of all, what is Aura? What is Aura? What is Aura? What is Aura? It's R. It's not Spanish. Aura. 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 You're rolling your tongue too Aura. I thought it was a blooper. Because, you know, people are good with the Photoshop. And yeah. The image, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It was him. And he said it with his real voice and his curled up hair. And then he said, R-E-S-P-I-C-T. He said, I. <laughs> I see T. I am like, really? Where sir? was the editing crew? Where was the cue cards? Where was the staff? Hello? And he's like, I'm gonna get you. You've been got. I'm like, no, sir. You have just been had. You have like sunk in yourself, sir. He has put us back 500 more years. Oh. We are back on Amistad. We are done. No, Lord, give us us free. We got to watch him because his neck looking skinny too. It's real skin too. Pay attention to the neck. Real skin. Every and ever since he lost all that weight, that hair ain't that's more volume. Cause back, back, <laughs> back in the day when he was really on the crusade right. for civil rights, yeah. that hair was late. That hair was on it was, He had a badass roller was set. Fluff. It had um pink moisturizer lotion. He had a badass roller set. That was Isla Plus. It was something. And 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 pump it up. And pump it up. He had a badass roller set, but I don't know what this is. This this, this, this right here. That I, I don't know if he went natural in this, and I don't know if he lost the weight. He get the protein. He I might don't get no protein to his hair. He gonna have to use that wild growth. Yeah, he gonna. <laughs> He gonna have to go to the store, the, the Asian uh, store. It's and only it's the miracle show. girl. Miracle, baby, don't be bald. Look yeah. for your skin. Sofa A. Uh, uh, sofa A. Hello. High five for that. Yes. And sofa A. Get yes. on this. That light blue one, because the light blue one don't stink. Yes. The regular sofa A stink. The light blue don't stink. Mm-hmm. He gonna have to sleep in his conditioner. Because <laughs> he's washing it out <laughs> soon. You gonna have to use lukewarm water. You use that hot water. And it's burning your hair. It's burning your hair. <laughs> You know, you cook rice and the bottom of the rice get burned a little quit, bit. Quit using that chi iron, sir. That chi iron will no, burn your hair out. No, you should. He going to the mall and let them curl his hair in the middle. You can't let them <laughs> curl your hair in the middle. It's not for us. It's not for us. It ain't for I wanna, you. Does it have a receding hairline a little bit? They how, all do. How they get them edges, though? Like, how you... Did you just rub the iron on that? Like... You know, I think he just... He <laughs> <with me. laughs> And it sticks and stays. Man. That man hair is done. Man, hold up. It don't move though. It's stiff. It's like casket ready hair on his alive body. Casket ready. Bro, that man is ready. If he fails today, he will be ready. He now wait, ready. we got to give his hair some R E S P I C T. Yeah, <laughs> his hair looks like it's got spritz in it year round. Yeah. <laughs> he be talking, he be moving. It don't move. His hair stiff as hell. <laughs> Like, like, can you put some, like, some black, you know, Something. Color? Give us something. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely. He's nominated for um, a Bitch Assness Award. So, here we go. Bitch Assness Awards. One more time. Nicki Minaj. Right. Aretha Franklin's niece. Yeah. Uh, she tried to be a representative for her estate, after, even though Aretha has four sons. Just let y'all know. Wow, wow. Are we, uh, back to Nicki Minaj for declaring beef with Cardi B. There's no beef. And also for blaming... um. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott for robbing her number one album slot. You know, she had more now. She had what more. What did she get? First of all, she, you know DJ Self from yes. Hip Hop? Yes. She threw shade and put a threat out because she basically said something about he was mad at her for not giving a drop or giving him a hug when they bumped into each other in passing. So in so many words, she said, I got dudes that'll come up there and rock you. So news got back to DJ Envy from the Breakfast Club, and he was like, "We will boycott your music, Nicki Minaj. Hello, mm-hmm. don't ever pass a threat on nobody's life." And DJ Envy was like, "Look, you, 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 you on thin ice." So then she took it from there. She started talking about safaris. Hairline was implanted. Well, he admitted to that, but he got an endorsement deal. This is what I'm telling you. <laughs> Hair Club for Me is giving him an endorsement deal. Are you serious? I'm serious. Yes. I want to see these implanted frolics. Twelve thousand dollars in. 
Each one, teach one. Baby, he got to do that, dude, because he ain't writing for her no more. He ain't making that cool. Then she said that he's not a writer for her. They say she called somebody on the phone and they vouched that no one writes her rhymes because she's adamant well, about now, women writers. Now, I don't know. She now, said nobody writing her rhymes. Now, that's why she's number two because she writing her own shit. You know one line I'm tired of hearing? What? Is these bitches are my son? <laughs> Every time I turn around, she's talking about <laughs> bitches being her son. <laughs> It's like, how many baby references can you keep doing? <laughs> you still shut up to Trinidad. <laughs> but after a while, now, I'm going to need some more bars. You keep every time we hear some more bars. Listen to a Nicki Minaj song, and I promise you, she's going to say something. These bitches are my sons. I'm balling on them basketball. I'm balling on the basketball. Something. Ball chemo. Oh. She's going to say something. She'll she talk about her butt. Mm-hmm. My. <laughs> so she's definitely nominated for a bitch ass award. Al Sharpton is, is definitely a nominated for the R.E.S.P.I. Him and his hair. <laughs> Him and his hair. It's a two, two piece You said he used what kind of rollers? Uh, the phone one <laughs> with the clip. Oh, that pink or black? I think you're going with the pink. <laughs> hey, what are you going with the pink? Now, I think we both know about this ball roll. Big worm, big perm. You think he used a satin cap? I think he had a satin pillow. <laughs> Tuck me in. Hello, he is ready. He, he ready. He ready. Yeah, nah. Silk sheets. Just Silk like, sheets, mm -hmm. satin pillow tops, and a satin bonnet. Yes. Yes, man. God. Yes, What's going on, Gilmore? Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Okay, and we also have the recall for the baby food. Yes, there's tons of baby food. So if you guys are feeding your babies, probably start going to the frozen section and like getting you a ninja blender and just making it yourself. Make it yourself. Because all this is getting the kids brain issues and My that's goodness. why they're crying different. They're crying different. Yeah, you want to put them on Ritalin and stuff. No, mm -hmm. we need to feed them organic food. Yeah, they too high for mine. And you said a recall on, the, on water, tap water? Yes. My liver said Madonna should get it for that tribute to Aretha. <laughs> should she go in there, y'all? Because that was horrible. Whoever she was, the Olsen twin gone bad. We don't know what Madonna was doing. I heard Madonna had a grill, honey. Did, I got to go back to them. I'm scared. Did y'all did Madonna have a grill? I heard she had a grill. Like y'all let let us know if she had a grill. Like I slip on a bottom grill. I don't know why I want a bottom grill. And somebody so also hard. said that she went to Erica Badu's closet. And, or did she go to Play-Doh's closet? <laughs> she went to Play-Doh's closet. She bought that for six dollars. That whole album was six in shopping. Baby, though. she was lit. Okay. She was litty. Mm-mm. She was litty. And I don't know who would win that. And doing too much on these jobs. You do what's required. Do the damn job you said you're going to do. I tell y'all every day. Do it, do it, do it. So, do we give all of them a bitch asses award? Or who, who gets the highest bitch asses award? I'm going to have to go with, right now, Nikki. Because I yeah. just, I'm not feeling the temper. And I'm not feeling the I'm pacified the, the entitlement. The diva. Yeah, just, you're winning, just win. Just win. And even like Beyonce. Beyonce is known as Queen B. You right. don't see Beyonce going Acting and getting mad because somebody didn't speak to her or no. getting mad. Because I don't think I don't think the uh the <laughs> Carters everything is love is number one. You it, is. it is. It is number one. Will said every one of them should get it. Everybody should get a bitch ass this award. I'm with it. I'm with it, Will. Okay. I'm with it. We'll give it. everybody gets a bitch ass this award. Shout out to all the bitch asses. But you need one more because because we gotta get one of Al Sharpen's hair. <laughs> We're gonna give we we we're giving away medals yes. like number one you win yes every everyone the icy tick every everybody's a winner with Everybody bitch ass winning. list chicken dinner look if you made it to the damn bitch asses list you getting the damn award you, you got to you oh got my to god trying to be this was so much fun where can people find you honey. Oh Lord, I got a list of places. Come you can on, find. list it's them all. Free to support, y'all. Yeah, it's free to support. It's free to support. So check me out. You can check my website, shinybeentertainment.com, and shiny B is spelled S H A U N I E, the letter B for boy, entertainment.com. Catch me on my Facebook. Every morning I'm going live from my yes. Shiny Entertainment page, and that's on Shiny B E N T, and I'm going live at 7 7 15. Mm hmm. And then uh, you catch me on my YouTube channel. That's Little Trinidad 2003. Little Trinidad, do it. Blue. L I L T R I N I D A D 2003. It's a lot of little Trinidads, but it's all spelled together. Come on! <laughs> and then, <laughs> if you guys are on Instagram, I'm not on there a lot, but every now and then I'll, you know, spit ass on there. But it's Shawnee underscore B underscore entertainment. Keep up with your girl. Did you say pity party? It's a pearl party. Oh, pearl party. What's a pearl party? Tasha. What's the pearl party? Let me know because I've got to know what the pearl party is about. Um, so 
So please make sure you also tune in with Tea and Whiskey Podcast. We want to thank Shana B for coming on the okay, show. Yeah. You can find us on iTunes, the, the Tea and Whiskey Podcast. You put the, the Tea and Whiskey Podcast. SoundCloud, the Tea and Whiskey Podcast. YouTube, the Tea and Whiskey Podcast. Facebook, it's the Tea and Whiskey Pod, not the Tea and Whiskey with Sunshine. Now, if you have any questions or issues or any topics you would like for us to discuss, go to tea, whiskey, and sunshine at gmail.com and voice your, voice your opinion. Let us know what you want us to discuss and who should be on this bitch assness awards, okay? Because we all about exposing it. We have to expose it so it can be stopped. We have to clear the airways, okay? Bitch asses is unacceptable. It's funny <laughs> as hell. <laughs> But it's unacceptable. It is, and there's a lot of y'all slipping out here. A lot of y'all slipping. <laughs> and we're going to catch a slipping, man. It's tough out here. It's tough. It's tough. Y'all tripping out here. You're pipping. Mm-mm. Y'all need some R-E-S-P-I-C-T. He did Hello. well in respect. Oh, what about Birdman? Did you see that video of Birdman and Tony Braxton was talking? No, because we don't ever understand Tony. <laughs> she, all we know is... Uh, well, both of them fit well together. He said something to her, and she was like, what? <laughs> I do that was so... Gladness. That's his Funny. favorite line. You know, Sunshine. Yes. Yes, Sean. I B. wanted to tell them because you know I love music. But I do too. I love some songs. And there's some new people that I've been sleeping on. Okay, so we're going to do repeat and delete. Here we go. Now, I can't give you every CD, mm-hmm. but I'm going to give you a few songs that I vibe with. Let's do it. Y'all, if y'all haven't checked out Tiana Taylor, the CD is called KTSE. I want to say it's called Keeping It. Who the hell knows? Just check it out. <laughs> Stop doing acronyms if you ain't putting what it mean underneath the CD. Yes. But that is a nice CD. Um, Kanye was produced. I think it's about eight tracks. But okay. It's nice. That's the first time that I really listened to her whole CD without switching. So you think we should repeat it or delete it? I think we should repeat that. She's okay. really freaky. I think her and her husband are swingers. Her and her husband, but husband and our swingers. Okay. She whatever keeps the marriage alive. Whatever, whatever you do. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. But she has a song called Three Ways. So y'all check that out. Um, I wanted to say something about Neo. Have you heard this in CD called Good Man? <sighs> Don't worry about it. No, no, no. It's just the song Good Man. I, I'm a, I am a huge D'Angelo fan. Okay. And when I heard his song done in that arrangement, it just threw me it off. Threw you off. It threw me off. It threw me yeah. off. Never let me down. Threw me off. Threw me off. Threw me. Sorry. Go ahead. It's a song on the CD. I want you and your listeners and viewers to listen to. It's called Sorry. Okay, Sorry. He made a song apologizing to all the women he cheated on, misled. I heard that song interviews. before. And then he said, I want to thank you guys for making me who the, the man I am today. He even named the sceneries where he met these women. So they listened to the CD thinking, oh, I was just a jump off? Okay, hold up. Before we go any further, I got something to say about that. First of all, he had a fe- he had a wife, a whole wife. Whole wife. That who agreed to give get herself a uh, hysterectomy. Right. Okay. And then after she did that, he left her ass. Bye-bye. And married somebody else mm-hmm. and had another child. Because he said he didn't want no more kids with her. Right. So did he apologize to her ass? He probably did. But the song bumping that part. The song bumping it. Okay, let me, let me calm down because I get emotional. No, nah, but he did. He <laughs> apologized to everybody that he made them. He said, I told you I was going to call you back and I didn't. He, so y'all still waiting on the phone call? I told y'all I went on my babies and I had some more. Right. He said, the girl that I met at the club that made you feel special, I was just playing with you. It's Damn. Like, it's, y'all, again, if y'all not primary, don't be secondary. But Ricky Bobby said, if you ain't first, you last. Yeah. Hello? Oh, that's that's Nicki nice. Minaj's. Um, <laughs> yeah, she said you're not first. You're losing. You're not, not first. You're last. <laughs> um, and Take then, there's one more artist. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. It's African, but his name is Toby. The last name is N W I G W E. It yes. might be uh, Nagui. 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 Yeah, Esther talks about him a lot. He's Baby, from Houston, Houston, he right? from Houston. Y'all yes, sleep on he him. loves him. He got a song called Day Ones. It is. If y'all haven't seen his videos on you on YouTube or Facebook, y'all, he has an He's African amazing. spirit about himself, but his bars are like Andre they 3000. Are amazing. Mixed That's in. what he said. He said the same thing. It's like Andre 3000, but on another level. And he's with his wife in every video. 
They do videos and does the like braid his hair, braid his hair, and it's so beautiful. Like I am a fan, and I've never met him a day in my life. I'm gonna rock it. I'm buying that album when it comes so out. So we're gonna put that on repeat. We'll put that on super repeat. Okay, and what's the name again? Toby. It's Toby Nagwe. Nagwe. Spell it for the people. N W I G W E. Yeah. Uh, Ebo. No. Try. Ebo. Okay, come through Ebo. The Nigerian. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Don't get us no concubine. I, I'm already married. I can't I'm deal. Again. I'm, I'm taking her off first. Okay, I might. Uh, <laughs> the paper right. The paper is right. The paper is right. Okay, so okay, back to Neo. We're gonna repeat or delete that. That sorry song should be on repeat. Mm -hmm. The Neo CD to me is kind of weak. Bars. Um, <laughs> I'm just not feeling you the whole thing. Right there. I was. You know, you're right there. 16 every now and then. Yeah, it's come through 16. It's all right. It's just he. I don't never. I never understand if he's giving us disco. If he's if he's giving us R and B. If he's giving us techno. techno. We never know with Neo with his big ass head. Hi, <laughs> cat. Deal. That <laughs> man had put his hair. That's the only time he look cute when he got a cap on. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Shade, oration. Mm. My cousin said Neo's new wife is ghetto. Is that true? She probably scared him to have this. I've baby. never seen her. I've never before. seen her too. She must be under a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a man to good man to me. That's all I want to be. Hey, said it's all I want to be. That's all I want to be. I just want to have a bigger head, bigger head on my body. That's all I gotta be. Hey, that's my, my head. eyes are too small. Hey, for my head. Yeah. Bow. Okay. Neo gonna hate. But he is smart as sauce. I got you. But you know what? He's, he's very talented. I gotta give it to him. He is. If he ain't he's writing, an amazing he's writer. acting, and he's not acting, he's yeah. singing. He's very talented. He's multi talented. I love him. I love that. I love, I love him for that. Him. What we got here? <laughs> I am listening. Hey, Aunt Ethel. Uh, Will said Can Neo needs. Uh, my cousin. No, Will said Neo needs Safari's hair plug treatment. <laughs> he might, cause that hair been bald for a very long, long day. Do you want it too? All the folks. Shay, cousin. It was Shay. That was Shay. <laughs> Yeah, it was. But the people know, and that's what people need to hear. The streets need to be talking. That is hilarious. Like, okay, so I'm gonna definitely be checking out Neo. Yeah, check those out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check out. Um, you said who's Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor, cause she freaky. Okay. And then, like I said, Nicki Minaj CD is pretty. She had a, a song called Barbie Dreams, or and it's that one was my yeah. I love that. She one. did that. She, she gave that. so much shade, and I'm here for it. I love a good shade boots. I love right, it. Right, right. But if she won't, if she won't stop talking, then we won't be able to hear the CD. Yeah, it's a good solid project. It's just it she is. won't let us love it. She just pushing it on us right yeah, now. Yeah, she's pushing it, and mm -hmm. if we gotta push it, that means you don't believe in it. Right. Um, let it flow. I heard the Travis Scott. I'm not really. I'm not sure where he's going with that. I'm just not. His music does nothing for me. Okay. It's kind of like a dead deal. It could be one of those teeny bopper type things. You know, the teeny boppers like you know between the right. ages of like ten and 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 seventeen. It it was weird. I just I just don't. I'm not feeling his plaques. I've never have. It, it's something about those plaits and it warm shirt he has on. One of my friends says she reminds him of somebody stuck in the 1990s of uh, Criss Cross. He does look like he wants to say, warm it up, Chris. Do some I'm about, about to. to. He did. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he looked like he just got a spanking because he didn't wash his hair. <laughs> That's what he gives me. And he always has a flannel on. So I don't and know so if he's moving something. I don't know. Baby daddy? It is. Stormy's daddy. Mm -hmm, that's their baby daddy. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. Come baby daddy. The genders are snatching them up. Yeah, they snatching them all up. Everybody baby. but Rob is living in living it like it's golden. Well, he had Black China for a little while. Mm. So has everyone else. I just want to be a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna do it to us. So that's our repeating the leads. Make sure you yeah, take those out, guys. Out, I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in with Teen Whiskey Podcast on the Hump Day shenanigans. Mm -hmm. We have an amazing. Special guest on the panel, we have D Shunny B, everybody's home girl. If you would, yeah, if you cool with your girl, cool with your girl. Yes, Ow. again, you can check out Team with your podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, YouTube, Facebook, oh, and Google Play. Man, Google Play. I am so proud of you, and it's not because I'm right here. Y'all didn't hear what she just said. Could you rename all those places they could support you at? 
iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Facebook. This came from a dream, y'all. And look what look what Sunshine doing. God is good, y'all. All the time. When I tell you, this yeah. lady right here was like, have you ever thought about just doing a podcast and doing your own it. thing? That's how it sounded <laughs> to me. Yeah, everybody sounds like me when I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> I just, I, I felt it. Her, her energy, y'all. This is all day, every day. Again, I cannot tell you guys that yeah. she's been the same consistent this, this person. This is so have you like. No, this is not. This is not acting like. No, this is, this is what we do like off camera all day long, and I just, I just love this girl to death. Mm. And I'm like, nah, I ain't really ain't thought about it. I'm just doing, you know, I'm just chilling. Whatever she planted the seed, and then of course S Dot came in and watered Shut it. My down. husband shed some light. Hubby be holding it down and fertilizer because you know sometimes you gotta you gotta put in that extra work when people when those right. plants are stubborn. You know what I'm saying? And you know it's still growing and thriving. I thank all of y'all for y'all support. Y'all make yes. sure y'all support, please. Because I want to bring people like amazing people like Shani B on here. Because I want y'all to support her too. Because right. she's doing amazing. She does comedy. She's a stand up comedian. No, I, I mean, and up. I was. You got a show coming up. Tell us about it. Um, August the 31st, next Friday, I will be competing uh, for the city of Irvine's funniest comedian. It's called Laugh at the Lakes. It's free for your family. Show starts at 7 to 9. Come out and have fun at the amphitheater. There's going to be some headliners there. There's going to be some real prestigious comedians that we've yes. seen in the past. But for us, we get five minutes to display our funniest and our best. So I, I'm praying that I come out with it and make y'all laugh. I am praying with her. Man. And then I have another show on October the 20th. Come on, another show? Hello. What? It's a breast cancer show. We're supporting the cause. Yes. And it's going to be, that venue has been moved, but the date is still in stone. So I'm going to be a special guest comedian on that. So. Congratulations. I am, I am so proud the Lord. Of you too. The Lord. So, like, yes. so I'm telling y'all, if you believe in yourself, go for it. And you got one person that believes in you too, that's all you <laughs> need. Hell, if you ain't got nobody, but if you believe in you, right. that's all you need. All you I'm need. telling you, I'm, oh, y'all just don't I, know. If I could, because I always like to leave out thanking people yes. because people don't do it enough. Yes. And I genuinely, I want to look y'all in y'all eyes. <laughs> I genu genuinely want to thank all my supporters from near and far to come on, even if you watch for five minutes, ten yes. minutes, you brag about me, share my stuff. You support people that and I tell you to watch this. What's up? Thank y'all. Shout out to my girl Martine. She been pushing my stuff like left and right. Yeah. She doesn't have to. Yeah. But she told me she's yeah. like, I was nervous to want to do it for you, but she's there. She does it when she can. And that is beautiful. It. Shout out to her. Shout out to Trinidad. Blue. She represents. Blue. Blue. <laughs> And I want to thank all my supporters, all of my followers, like my family who's who's, who's backed me up. Because y'all know, y'all, oh my gosh, she's cursing. Yeah, I curse. But it's thank okay. you for supporting me. Thank you to my husband. Thank you for s Doc for being a great right. co-host. I just thank everybody. Everybody that pressed like, that share my stuff. Right. Thank you. And I appreciate you. And keep doing it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to every one of these platforms. Subscribe to Shunny B. And let's just keep the energy sure. going. For and sure. remember to keep the drum my own TV mm -hmm. and out your life. Hey. Leave it on television. Positive vibes only. Good vibes only. Burn mm -hmm. you some sage and get you some Palo Santos and live your best life. Live my best, best life. life. I ain't I going back and forth with you. you. I ain't my best life. life. Yeah. That's, my yeah. That's my jam. You brought it out of me. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna listen to it on the way home. Girl, okay. I wish I could play it, but you know, Facebook be tripping. I know as soon as you play it's gonna be like you got the permission to do this. It's like you're gonna be doing this, just just no audio. Yeah. No audio. <laughs> but man, we can't do it without you guys. <laughs> Not at all. all. You guys push us and motivate us and if Thank you have friends so that's trying to do something positive, please push them and support them. Yes, please so. push your people. Push your people. Come on now, push. You Come got on, that push. push. Come on, Gina. Push, push. it. Sing it till you get it right. Push Gina. it till you get it right. Push. You a jukebox like me. Push. Yes. <laughs> jukebox. Push. Like me. Push. I said push. I said push. <laughs> Y'all don't know Martin. Y'all ain't can't hang with me. Oh Martin's my, my god, boo. girl, I, I got all the seasons. Mm. We're gonna have to have a little Martin watch party. We're gonna have to. Yes. Talk about scenes that everybody probably slept on. Cause you gonna get me for my seventy six. <laughs> <laughs> my seventy six. Where is my Dragonfly Jones? He on top right. of that mailbox. <laughs> Martin is the best. <laughs> I can meet Martin. Then. Martin um, and Missy, I will fall out. Oh my god. I'm a groupie to them too. See, I would be like annoying. I'd be like, can you do Dragonfly Jones? I got, right. I got an outfit in the back. I got an outfit in the back. 
That man is talented, man. This shine lance. Shine lance. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a great night. Happy Wednesday. We almost done with the week. Yes. I'm yes. Good. Make that coin. And again, I say, keep the drama on TV and out your life. Yes. Thank you.